I don't really have like a solution to what the problem is, but they like most of the fellas that in gang because they have lack of jobs opportunities. But like I students and that. youth from around the island were invited to participate in a town hall meeting organized by the Caribbean Public Health Agency CARFA as part of its 68th Health Research Conference hosted in St. Lucia. The focus was violence in the Caribbean, a public health crisis. The theme, violence and youth. Crime and violence devastate families, communities, economies, and retard our region's development. Generations of young people will not know what it could have been like to have a happy, productive adult life because young people are caught in the crossfire, tragically, both as victims and perpetrators. The Deputy Police Commissioner Ronald Phillip addressed the gathering providing sobering statistics on the number of youth murders over the past 10 years. Between 2014 and the present day, as in today, our island has mourned the loss of 334 young lives to murder, which represents 64% of the total number of murders committed for the same period. Of that figure, 4% were females and 60% male. Shockingly, all of these individuals were 35 years old or younger. The tone for the youth perspective was set by Davian Alexander, a student from Vietfor. She spoke of the influence of gang culture on vulnerable young men who she believes have been desensitized to gun violence. Violence is a new normal. Gunshots can be heard and it's okay. They've gotten used to it. So now it's normal for them to want to go and do it too. That's what I grew up in. That's what I know. That is what I will embody because that's where I live. That's what I know that is happening around me. Miss Alexander also noted how domestic violence subconsciously influences violent behavior. I see it with my own eyes. So if I hit another student, if I hit another child, it's okay. Mommy does it to daddy, daddy does it to mommy. So I can do it if somebody aggravates me, I can do it. Other students noted the impact of unemployment and lack of opportunities on at-risk youth who come from deprived communities. People turn to crime to fight their poverty, which is not right. Historically, the Caribbean has suffered with high unemployment rates. Think of a young father and his family. He doesn't have a job or expertise or to be qualified for any skilled work. He has not had the level or breadth of education that is required to have those skills. The Ministry of Education also participated in the dialogue with the Deputy Chief Education Officer Cyrus C. Pal, noting the need to focus attention on the 10% of youth likely to display violent behavior. Who am I? Who am I? Until they don't understand who they are, we are fighting a losing cause. And this is what the Ministry of Education and our, our transformation of the curriculum, we are getting persons to understand. First of all, you need to get that child to understand who am I? Government ministers present noted the value and timeliness of the town hall meeting and echoed the urgency required to deal with violence in the Caribbean. It's important as a country for us to continue these discussions. It's very important for us to address the root causes. We heard so much about the root causes tonight. This is a, a public health crisis, and to address this crisis, um, we need bold action. This issue demands our immediate attention. The Car for Violence and Youth Town Hall meeting was attended by researchers, policymakers, youth leaders, community activists, the private sector, and concerned citizens. Reporting for the Ministry of Health, I am Jade Brown.